I know I should be watching a documentary on BBC4 about D.H. Lawrence and literature or maybe learning a language, but I'm not. I watched Love Island. Oh my God. Um, I don't know about any of the other men. Isn't it slightly depressing that the number one turn off, gentlemen, it's not having a, a, a flabby belly. It's not a lack of a six pack. It's not having full volumed hair. Do you know what the biggest thing you can do if you want to go in to the Love Island Villa and be a total turn off to the women? Do you know what it is? Be nice. Turns out there's nothing that dries up a vag quicker than a guy who isn't a total Seriously, you have to be a total fucking cunt if you want to attract the... I mean, just listen to the Scottish one. She's like, oh, babe, it's just too nice for me. Do you know what? I just want a guy that after a couple of dates is going to spit in my face and then shag my sister. What are you looking for from a man? Do you know what I mean? Buy me a drink. I'll buy you a drink and then I'll be ready to emotionally abuse you. Oh my God, that's so attractive. That's what I'm looking for is a guy who'll emotionally abuse me. Oh my God, I'm squirting. I'm pure squirting from the thought of being emotionally abused. I'm pure squirting. I don't get it. Is it? Maybe it's an age thing. Sooner or later, ladies, when you've had your heart shat out for the third time and you're about 29 years old, you'll be ready for the boys like us who enjoyed our GCSEs. Oh, touch the end of it. Talk about Dungeons and Dragons while you touch the end of it. Thank you. The rest of them, they're just a nice bunch of people. It's too early to say. I will give regular updates. The Geordie guy made me laugh. The monotone Geordie who just talks about women and that. So afterwards, I'll get you back to mine and that. And I didn't can he help it if I'll give you a read pounding and that. And when after I've given you a pounding and pounding you to dust and that, I'll take bits of the dust and I'll pound those into particles. And maybe I'll take the particles and that and pound those into electrons and that. I quite liked him. The other thing I found quite uh, amusing was watching extroverts trying to get on. That is fucking brilliant. Uh, I mean, just don't bother. It's not going to work if I'm the centre of attention. Me too. Don't speak when I'm speaking, darling. Ha <laughs> ha Just give it a rest. You need that contradiction. Maybe Geordie Monotone would be better with one of the big personality girls. I don't know. But just... Try and be a bit more of a bastard. If I could give the lads in there one tip, it would be maybe try and find some of the animals at the villa and torture them. Maybe find a cat, kill it, uh, put the, lay the skins out. Maybe find um, a magazine, like Cosmopolitan, cut the eyes out of the women, look through and stick your tongue through. Sometimes, yeah, at night, I like wear the paper masks of women and I fantasise about all the hearts I'll break. I've been inside three times. I've got an electronic tag on for cocaine abuse. I've got two kids by three different women. Oh my God, that's a pure turn on. He's got two kids divided by three women. That means one of the women gave birth to half a child and shared it with another. I don't even understand the maths of it. It's such a turn on. Oh my God, I can't wait to be emotionally abused. I'm pure squirting.